Hey everybody, it's Film Daisy from Instagram, and today's video is going to be just a expansion tutorial, and I'm also going to be adding in like how I edit most of my videos too. So I'm just going to get started. Um, so the first thing that I started with is the original picture, obviously, and so I just chose this picture that I took about a week ago, I think, um, of me standing in front of my window in my room and yeah so that's pretty much all this is um so I'm gonna expand it with extra pieces that I took okay it's not okay so I'm just going to expand it with these extra pieces that I took um yeah so first what you want to do is you want to start out with the crop tool which looks like this right here you just click it and it has all these cool lines and stuff um, yeah, it's just over here underneath, it's like the fifth one down on the line. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to drag this out all the way, like just however big you want the crop to be, so you can add in the pictures from your expansion. Just a few tips on how to do expansions. Um, you want to do them like, you want to add in parts of the photo that you had while you rotate, like while you're standing in it, or while the other person's standing in it, so it's easier to stitch together. And you also want to do it on manual focus, so the focus is all the same. Yeah. So, oh yeah, okay, I should probably show you how I did that. Um. So what you're going to do is you're going to be on the move tool, which is the arrow at the top, and you're going to drag it off of the photo and into the, uh, the original photo that you want to to the expansion from and this is going to be kind of tricky because I have the blinds and the blinds can be kind of tricky when it comes to this um, so now once it's on your photo you're going to set the opacity over here over on the side you're going to set the opacity to around 50 I just so happen to click 50 wow I'm magical um, and then you're going to drag it so it fits as perfectly as you possibly can and you can also use your arrow tools or your arrow stuff on your mouse pad and see how the table right here kind of lines up and same with the shutters that's what you want um, then you're going to set the opacity back to 100 and this is the fun part where you get to erase stuff um, so you're going to click the original layer 1 this layer right here and you're going to click this layer mask down here, which is, it looks like a Japanese flag in my opinion. You just click that and it makes a white box over here. And when you're done with that, you're going to go to the brush tool, which is about the 7th or 8th one down the line. And you're going to make sure it's set from black to white. And you want to make sure you're on this white box, the layer mask thumbnail, you want to be on that. And then you're just going to start erasing stuff. See how magical this is? This is how you do an expansion, kids. Um, yeah, so you just erase everything that needs to be erased, and voila! You have expanded your photograph. How magical. And then you just want to do this with the rest of the photos, and I'm probably going to speed this up like right about now. Um, so you're just going to do that for the rest of them. You don't have to set it the opacity, it's just easier, you know. Um, like, I mean, if you want to have a harder time expanding the photo, then sure, don't set the opacity, but I don't always set it. Alright, so this part is where it is also kind of tricky. See how the lighting is a little bit different and you want to change that so it doesn't look icky? Um, you're going to make sure you're on the layer 2 mask thing before you press the layer mask. And you're going to go to image, adjustments, curves, and you're just going to pull it up or down based on how you want the lighting to be. You could also do brightness and contrast and stuff. So I think right about there is good. See the lighting is kind of the same now. Then you press OK, obviously, and you add on the layer mask like you do normally. Press the brush tool, make sure it's on black to white, and you just erase it. Alright, there we go. Also, let's just say you make a boo-boo, you know, just like everyone else does, and um, 
you accidentally or saw me okay you accidentally make a line like that oh no there's a huge line in the middle of my expansion what do I do now you set it from white to black or you can press X I think yeah you can press X on your keyboard and it changes it for you and you just draw everything you made a boo boo on back how swag is that guys it's just great oh that looks weird never mind I thought I saw something weird okay um, so then after that, you're just going to remember to always go back to the move tool because if you are on the brush tool and you want to drag something and you go like that on accident, that is not good. So always make sure you're on the move tool when you're moving stuff, obviously. And so I'm just going to do this with the rest of the photos that I'm doing. Yep. Oh yeah, so that's pretty much how much I'm going to expand it, I feel like. I don't know if I want to expand this little bit right here. I don't think I need to. Hold on, let's let's crop it first and see how we see. So when you're done with your expansion, you are going to crop it because that's what you do. Okay, and there is a weird thing. Okay, well, I don't like my lamp in there, so I might crop that a little bit more. A little bit. And yeah, I don't have to really add in any more. I'm also going to crop it like that. And look, it's a square, so Instagram won't have to like kill me. Do you like my flower crowns in the corner? Yes, I do. See, this is my desk, and this is why it's a crap desk. Okay. Oh wait, I need to crop this more at the bottom. I'm a loser. All right. And that is it. Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I will make a few more of these later. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you have a fabulous day. I love you guys all. And yeah, bye.